I used to think that being sensitive is a weakness. That because I felt so deeply, I was at a disadvantage. That to survive, I would have to learn to steal myself. But I have started to realize that to remain open to the world, to all its horrors, yes, but also to all its wonders, is a strength. And by doing something good for myself, I can do something good for the world. So I've been sitting here and I wrote on my journal um, that I'm not feeling that great but I'm trying today to do something good for myself and that's also the theme that I chose for yoga this morning so I did a 10 minute yoga flow with yoga with Adrian and she was like maybe think about a word or a theme for this flow and take it on for the rest of today for yourself and I couldn't think of anything and then I just chose something good you know when i'm feeling like this um it's pretty hard to think huge goals for myself so i usually settle for doing at least something just the tiniest thing that could make me feel a bit better for the day so something good is the theme for this day <laughs> that always makes me happy is going outside and if you work from home and you don't have a dog for example i have a tortoise but you don't have many obligations to go outside you just spend your whole day inside so i had this morning routine going right and i was genuinely going outside every morning the first thing and it was so great for my mental health and only it's so funny how these little things work because when you're doing them you're like this is really helping. It was so easy to just not go. And then only afterwards, when time has passed, I realize how detrimental it is. It was to my mental health. So now I'm on a walk. What the hell is that? I'm on a walk. I'm um, foraging food for Tavati, my tortoise, because we are going away this weekend to my friend Ona's place actually uh, she lives in Groningen we're going there for midsummer midsummer is a really big party in Finland and that is one thing that will make me very very happy to spend time with friends For a desk for the whole time that we have been living here and i finally got it i found it on facebook marketplace as always and i just personally need that kind of designated place where i can work so i can be more productive when i'm working and like i just like to have all my stuff in order and 
do the creative stuff on the desk as well because as you can see i've been working on the dining table and it's not the best for me and now i can finally set up my real computer as well so i can start gaming again i'm really excited um because the hogwarts game is out i mean it has been out for a while now yes so i'm excited i got this for 40 euros so the desk was really really dirty when i got it i painted it two days ago the first coat really nice but it needed another one so yesterday i did another coat and now it's really nice and white as you can see the paint did such a huge difference like when i saw this table i was a bit like oh, do i even want to buy it then when i painted it it's nice and it's like new i think i mean i'm not a master at painting you can see the trip marks here and somewhere else as well but i i'm proud of myself i did a good job i did my best also look at this beautiful beautiful monster that we bought for 9.99 or something ridiculously cheap and it's beautiful look at her um i need to clean these paint stains but first let's do this i have a vision that this computer would go nicely in the shelf so it wouldn't be a show because it doesn't look particularly nice. There's also like already there are a few holes on the back so I can put the cables through there. No! No! Okay so I just put it there. Definitely not the ideal situation but when you are here you can't really see it. This lamp was on sale in Ikea. It was I think seven, eight euros. And I love the color, it's my favorite color, and it's the Pixar lamp, which is so nostalgic, and I always want this kind of lamp. I don't know why I didn't get it sooner. But let's assemble. Shouldn't be too hard. This guy is me. Every day. Okay, I can finally empty this last box that we have. Actually, we have another box on the balcony, but the second last box. <laughs> so we have finally moved officially into the flat. My keyboard. Ah, finally, I was looking for these straws we bought from Thailand actually, um, because I wanted to drink my ice coffee with these. You know, I thought moving into a new country would be great because you wouldn't have all these random cables that you always accumulate when you live somewhere for long enough. But here, it's all cables. Of course, can you just stop it? Of course, I need some of this, but like, what is all of this? I have no idea. You know, I can see that Matti packed this box because I have no idea what this shit is. Also from Ikea, we bought this bamboo. It was two euros. I put it in my favorite glass for now, but I have a plan. So I bought a beer today. There seems to be a lot of beer at the moment in the fridge but anyway i bought this beer because it looks cute it has a little turtle on it so i'm gonna drink this beer maybe tonight or another night and then i can stick the bamboo in here oh my god here is the result i love it so much look at it and the color of this lamp matches perfectly with the armchair and kind of matches the chair i painted as well so here are my pens i have had these jars for like as long as I can remember. I had them when I was a kid. I still don't have Wi-Fi. Uh, this is the Wi-Fi cable. Matti is gonna move it so it's gonna like go along the wall <laughs> so it's not noticeable and then he's gonna also put the Wi-Fi for me. Um, I need to fix these cables so you can see them under the desk. Uh, I bought this random this is like a plastic chair. I bought this from the charity shop for I think 80 euros. <laughs> It's quite comfortable actually and I like how it looks because it matches that red jar. We were also gonna have a red lamp. We were gonna have this red lampshade on the ceiling. But unfortunately we tried it and it just doesn't go there uh, for some reason. So we have these ugly lamps that were here. 
when we came here, but oh well. Then here I have my beautiful Princess Mononoke poster and the bamboo and the monster. Also, I'm just so excited I have storage space finally in my desk. So here I can keep all my camera stuff and like my diary. And here are just my important papers and stuff. Yes, I'm so excited. Look at it. It just feels like this flat is finally home. We still have a horrible mess on the balcony, but we are making a pallet sofa. We actually got these pallets. Let me show you. Uh, ignore all the other stuff, but we got these pallets yesterday for seven euros per pallet. I just ordered some pillows from Amazon and we are gonna put them here and it's gonna be so cozy. It is time for lunch and I'm having my usual, so my couscous bowl and i'm watching gilmore girls if there's one thing you should know about me it's that i don't just like something i get absolutely obsessed it is not casual it is it is crazy i'm insane i've been watching this so fast i'm on season five like in the middle of season five already i'm watching every day so many episodes it's not healthy to be honest so right now my personality is gilmore girls that i can't pronounce and iced salted caramel latte that I will make after I eat my lunch. I think I need to buy bigger glasses because this looks a bit ridiculous. This is divine though. Okay, since the caffeine is still in my veins, I'm off to the gym and I'm quite scared to be honest. So I have next dynamic lower body. It is just a horrible, horrible workout. It just goes on and on like <sighs> Natasha, why? But I love her and I love her workouts. to go to work in a cafe today i've been meaning to do this for so long and i actually was supposed to make this a habit that i go to a cafe at least every week to work to shake things up so i'm not here i just haven't got around to it i've been in this kind of a funk let's call it because i refuse to think about other terms that would describe this state that i'm in we are out of the funk today we are going to the world of humans and i'm excited to do something a bit different and i can't believe that i haven't been to a cafe in eindhoven yet like who am i what am i doing i actually even managed to put eyeliner on if you can see <laughs> i'm not a master but i'm pretty proud laptop charger my baby headphones banana if i get hungry it is also very important that i go town today because i need more salted caramel oat milk for my ice latte so we need to visit jumbo in eindhoven which is the only jumbo that i have found the oatly good milk so very important mission we have today so i headed for the center of eindhoven it was so hot this day once more and I was dripping in sweat by the time I got there but I was still admiring the stunning blue sky I first went to Jumbo and hunted down the salted caramel oat milk which was on sale which was a welcome surprise I then stumbled onto the library of Eindhoven and I decided to check it out only to discover that the English selection was quite limited. They also didn't seem to have any fantasy books, which was so strange, but then I found out that they had labeled fantasy books as thrillers, 
which was a bit odd, but oh well. I then went to a cafe that was downstairs of a bookstore. The coffee was good, but it was tiny for 2 euros 80 cents and there were no windows, so the hunt for the perfect cafe will have to continue. But it was so nice to be out doing something a bit different and getting to know the city a little. So thanks so much for watching the video and I hope to see you in the next one. Remember to do something good for yourself today.